Hello, welcome to Science with Nitul. In this session, we are going to discuss about heat. Heat. What do you understand by the term heat? Let's think about this. Just see the pictures. Here we can see a jacket, a cup of hot coffee and an ice cream. What is the difference between all these things? Jacket keeps us warm. Coffee is hotter. Ice cream is colder. The main difference between a cup of coffee and ice cream is in between the temperature of these two things. Now the question is, what is temperature? Just think about summers and winters. Temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of substances. Like in summers, the temperature is more. In winters, the temperature is less. So temperature is the measure of hot or cold. We can define temperature that is the degree of hotness or coldness of substances. How do we measure the temperature? Temperature is measured by a device that is known as thermometer. There are two types of thermometers. The one is laboratory thermometer and another is clinical thermometer. Laboratory thermometer is used to measure the temperature of objects in a laboratory. While the clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of human body. These days, digital thermometers are used to measure the temperature of human body because these are safer than traditional thermometers. Transmission or transfer of heat. Heat may be transmitted from one place to another by three processes. The first one is conduction and second is convection and third one is radiation. Conduction. It is the process in which heat transfers from hotter end to colder end of solids. Let's think about an example of a spoon placed in a mug of hot coffee. The outer end of spoon also get heated or also become hotter due to the process of conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat between two ends of a solid. In, in this another picture, if you can see a pan, when we heat the pan, he travels to the handle of the pan. So this is called conduction of heat. Conduction is the process in which heat transfers from hotter end to colder end of solids. Convection. Sorry, conductors. There are two types of substances. One, uh, first are known as conductors and another as known as insulators. Conductors are the substances which allow heat to transmit through them. The examples of conductors are metals including iron, copper, aluminium, tin, etc. While insulators are the substances which do not allow the heat to transmit through them. Paper, wood, ebonite, cloths, all these are the examples of insulators. Convection. It is the process of transfer of heat from one place to another by the movement of fluids. When we boil water in a pan, the water of the water at the bottom of the pan gets heated and travels towards the surface of the water. While the cold water on the surface travels to the bottom of the Pan. This is known as, uh, known as convection. Convection is the pros process of transfer of heat from one place to another by the movements of fluids. Liquids and gases are known as fluids. Radiation. It is the process in which heat transfers from one place to another without any medium. The example of 
रेडिएशन इज द अर्थ गेट्स हीट फ्रॉम द सन सन इज फार अवे फ्रॉम द अर्थ इट एमिट्स हीट रेडिएशन दैट दोज रेडिएशन आर received by the earth and the atmosphere of earth gets heated this process is known as radiation radiation is the process in which heat transfers from one place to another without any medium thank you for more details for more video lessons for more slides and live online tutoring you can subscribe our channel thank you have a nice day